While traffic was gridlocked for hours in Panama City Beach Saturday night, swarms of crowd descending onto our beaches, and as a result, several businesses ended up closing their doors early in response to the situation. As News 13's Jake Holter tells us, people describe last night's events as mayhem. I didn't see any shooting, but people were talking about it, but I did hear about it, and everybody was running. We were getting ran over by people. They were pushing us. I came on my sandals because when we see a whole group of people running, we're going to run. We're not going to sit there. Like, yeah. Rowdy crowds gathered in large numbers throughout Panama City Beach last night, prompting many businesses to close their doors. Local fine dining establishment Firefly closed three hours early Saturday night. We tell people that have their anniversary dinner or their birthday dinner, you know, scheduled, at, you know, an eight o'clock reservation. I got to call them and say, hey, guys, we got to we got to cancel you. You know, that, that birthday and anniversary only comes around once a year. So it's a uh, you got people that came into town for it. Those decisions aren't taken lightly. But at the end of the day, you, know, you got to be concerned about, you know, public safety and, and the safety of your, you know, just your staff. The manager of the Pink Pelican Ice Cream Bar says they had hardly any business Saturday night because of the crowds. Last night uh, there was just mayhem. There was people all over the sidewalks, uh, enough to where people couldn't uh, freely walk through the sidewalk. Some were concerned when word spread that Walmart and Waffle House had closed early. When you got Walmarts and Waffle Houses and see when you have, you know, things that don't ever shut down and shutting down, you know there's a problem. Like they went to Walmart, messing up Walmart. So that part is messed up how they came down here and caused the ruckus because we just came to have fun, not to mess up what everybody had going on. Because people still live here, people still have lives at the end of the day. The Panama City Beach Police Department released a statement saying, quote, we are aware of the social media videos that are circulating and like you, we believe the behavior of the people in these videos is reprehensible. With that said, what you don't see in those videos is the response to those incidents and the efforts we took and are taking in an attempt to hold the criminals accountable. It's a shame if somebody came down here and was, this was their first visit to Panama City Beach and they're going to walk away thinking this is this is the norm and it's not you know so that to me is why we try to get a handle on this as quick as possible because it can't continue to happen in panama city beach jay coulter news 13 panhandle strong now, Walmart told News 13 in a statement, quote, we are aware of what happened in our store Saturday and are disturbed by the actions of this group. The store did close a few hours later for reasons unrelated to the incident and will continue working closely with local police and must refer other questions to law enforcement. The Panama City Beach Police Department will hold a press conference in conjunction with the Bay County Sheriff's Office tomorrow morning at 11 a.m.